Hi, Bob Wormsley here from Insidium, and the new X Particles early access release is almost here. Let's preview some of those brand new features. Today, we're going to concentrate on X Particles quick tools. These can be found in the X Particles menu, and once open, you have a choice of 25 scene and simulation presets, plus some incredibly useful workflow tools. There is a particle effects section fluids and grains, smoke, fire and advection, trails and workflow. Let's dive in a little bit deeper and look at some of these features in more detail. In this scene we have this model of a female bust and let's say we want this object to emit particles. Well now, using the X Particles Quick Tools, we can do this in just one click. If I highlight the object and click on Emit from object in the quick tools. We get a new emitter that's been created and it's been set up to emit particles from the polygons of the object. Let's just delete that emitter. We can go one step further. If I select the polygon view, you can see that this model has a polygon selection of just the eyes. And we can see a polygon selection tag here on the model. Let's say we want to emit particles just from that polygon selection. Well, we can do that now with Quick Tools with one click. Let's highlight the model and we click on Emit from Selection. A new emitter is created automatically and if we hit play, we can see that those particles are now only emitting from that polygon selection. We also have options to emit from the texture of an object and also to emit from a vertex map from any object. So an excellent workflow tool to help you set up your particle scenes more quickly. The X Particles Quick Tools also give you some particle effects simulations which you can add to existing scenes to get commonly used particle effects like rain and snow. So let's just add some simple rain to this female bust scene. So we'll click on the simple rain preset and a couple of things are brought into our scene. We hit play. You can see we have a particle emitter which is emitting this rain. The rain is interacting with the floor and this sphere object and it is spawning these nice spray particles. So all we need to do is adjust this to get our female bust to interact as well. So if we just scroll down the other objects, uh, we will disable the sphere. Let's drag in our female bust into our connect. And now this female bust is interacting with this rain and we're getting those nice splash particles where the rain drops are hitting. This of course is completely editable. Let's go to the emitter rain and we'll go to the attributes and we can um, decrease the birth rate for lighter rain, more of a shower. We can increase that way up to say 5,000 per second, so a much heavier rain shower. We could go to the uh, modifiers, let's get the wind and increase the strength of that wind for more of a storm. So fully editable, customizable scenes, but they are a quick one-click setup to make sure you can add these commonly used particle effects to your scenes very quickly. There is also simple snow, a fireworks preset, and also dust, where you can simulate dust laying on scene objects. The XP Quick Tools Starter Pack gives you three fluid setups to get you going with commonly used scenes. Let's talk about condensation. In this scene we have an oil tank, let's just say this is going to be our drinks can. So with the object highlighted, if we click on condensation, we are brought in a setup scene. And what this is, is a fluid FX fluid solve using some additional constraints to get this nice condensation look. This is set up to be draft quality to run in real time in your viewport to give you good visualization. This of course can be made higher res at render time. So that is the condensation preset. The Quick Tools Fluid Filament setting gives this fantastic fluid PBD simulation. It gives you the slow moving languid water gobules 
joined by these really nice stretching tendrils. Fantastic for product shots. Let's just see how this might look in a render. We'll go to the generators. Let's bring in an open VDB mesher and we want to mesh these particles. So we'll drop in the emitter to the sources window. Let's reduce the point radius to make it less blobby and we'll add a little filtering to smoothen that out not quite that much. So there is our fluid mesh. Let's have a look at what this looks like rendered with cycles. So I'll bring in my cycles 4D real time preview. And here is our clay render, which is looking nice. Let's drop on a standard glass material onto the mesh. And there we have a really nice water sim. And we can play this through and we're getting this fantastic, almost slow motion water sim. Really good for those product shots. The final Fluids Quick Tool is a Fluid FX water body, and this brings you a perfect starting point for a more high resolution fluid simulation. We have an interactive cube, an emitter, a gravity object, and a Fluid FX solver, and this is ready to go. So if we bring in an X Particles modifier, let's bring in a turbulence, and what we'll do is we'll just up the strength of that turbulence, and we have with one click our interactive fluid body, which is the perfect starting point for those much higher res water simulations. The Quick Tools Smoke, Fire and Advection settings help you quickly set up exposure effect simulations. In this scene, we want to make a shock wave from these source particles. All we need to do is click one button, highlight the XP emitter, click on EFX Fire from Particles, and then straight away, we have got the start of our sim, an exposure effects domain, an exposure effects source tag. The particles have been given the appropriate fuel value, and this is the perfect starting point to get that highly detailed shockwave sim. The Quick Tools Trails gives you four preset scenes which can be laborious to set up. First of all, create stunning branching simulations with one click. And these, of course, can be changed. If we go to the emitter that's been created and go to the advanced tab, we can change the random seed, which is going to give you a completely different branched look. The Tendrils Quick Tool also gives you a rather complex scene with one click. Here we've got these really nice generated tendrils which are moving around the place very nicely with this turbulence. Other quick tools for splines are a simulation for nearest distance and a quick setup in case you want to make a simulation using network trails. The X-Particles Quick Tools contain some fantastic workflow enhancers. In this scene, we have an emitter, and it is spitting out blue particles in particle group one, which are these arrows, and then using a question and action, these are being moved into particle group two, which are the orange squares. So we don't have these X particles objects organized in a system and quickly this scene is going to become unmanageable. So we can use one of the quick tools to organize that. All we need to do is click on system sort and what quick tools does, it places all of those individual X particles objects like groups and emitters and modifiers into the correct subfolder, meaning we now have a very organized scene. Now, we are using particle groups here, so I'll be able to demonstrate to you the other quick tool, which is incredibly useful. This is Assign Groups to Modifiers. In this scene, I have two modifiers which I'll now make active, a gravity and a turbulence. And these are equally affecting the particles in group one, the arrows, and group two, the orange cubes. But let's say we just wanted the gravity and turbulence to affect the orange cubes. Well, we could set that up manually, but there is a really quick way using this new quick tool. All we have to do is highlight the group we want to affect and then control click the modifiers we want to only affect in that group. And then we'll hit assign groups to modifiers. Click it once, and now you will see that the blue arrows in group one are unaffected by the, both the gravity and the turbulence, and it's only when they change groups to group two that the gravity and turbulence kick in. So a very fast way of quickly assigning different modifiers to specific particle groups. 
there is a new quick tool to help you set up a one-click cache. In this scene, we've got this nice fluid PBD particle animation going around this spline flow, and we want to cache these particles. We also want to cache this open VDB mesher so we can start sorting out our rendering and lighting settings. So to do that, all we need to do is go to the quick tools and click on quick cache. This will ask which folder we want to cache these files to. So let's just go to documents and we'll make a new folder. Let's call it uh, fluid. We'll select that one and automatically the system starts caching. And what that is going to do, it's going to look through the scene and it'll cache any X particles object which is cacheable. So that means it's going to cache this emitter and it's also going to cache this open VDB mesher. So we'll let this chug through until the end. It's got a few more seconds and then it'll be complete. And then we will see what happens. A cache object will be brought in, which will be turned red, which means that it has cache data. And we have a cache tag on both the open VDB mesher and on the emitter. So if we just make the emitter invisible, now we can play through and we've got our open VDB mesh of our fluid. And of course we can scrub backwards and forwards with this. And we've also got our particles which have been cached to file as well so an incredibly useful tool to speed up your workflow quick cache so that is X Particles Quick Tools, just one of the many new feature sets coming to the latest X Particles Early Access release. To find out exactly when it's out and you can get hold of your copy, then make sure you follow Insidium on social media and also please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel for announcements as soon as they're published. That's it for now. See you next time.